Lucius Roy Holbrook was a major general who commanded of the United States Army's Philippine Department from 1936 to 1938. While stationed at Boise, Idaho, Holbrook met Henrietta Coffin the daughter of Frank R. Coffin, a merchant and baker and Charlotte Irene Coffin. They were married on June 7, 1899, at the Presidio of San Francisco, California. Mrs. Coffin was reportedly the first Caucasian woman to enter Peking, following the Boxer Rebellion. Early life and family history, Holbrook was born in Arkansas, Wisconsin. He was a son of Willard Francis and Mary Holbrook. His father was born at Rintham, Massachusetts, on April 27, 1827, and died September 17, 1886. Mary Ames, whom he married, was born November 19, 1840, at West Bridgewater, Massachusetts, and died July 12, 1889. Holbrook graduated from high school in Northfield, Minnesota, in 1892. He was appointed to the United States Military Academy on June 15, 1892 and graduated on June 12, 1896, as a second lieutenant in the cavalry. His brother, Willard, would also serve as a major general. His nephew, Willard, J.R., would also serve as a brigadier general. Military career, Holbrook served with the 4th Cavalry Brigade at Fort Walla Walla, Washington, until December 22, 1896, and at Boise Barracks, Fort Sherman and Wardner, Idaho, until May 1899. On June 24, 1889, he was ordered to the Philippine Islands and during the Philippine-American War he participated in the Northern Campaign, and in battles at Aralat, Cabao, San Isidro, Santa Rosa, and Talavera. Holbrook served with General Theodore Schwann's Southern Expedition from January 3 to February 18, 1900, and was at the battles of Montin Lupa and Via Plus or Minus An, Camona and Silan, Tiaron, Candelria and Tibers. He was promoted to first lieutenant on January 23, 1900. In September 1900, he was reassigned to Troop H, 6th Cavalry Brigade at Boise Barracks, Idaho, where he remained until February 11, 1901. Holbrook returned to the Philippines in March 1901 and served with Troop B, 15th Cavalry Brigade and Troop I, 4th Cavalry Brigade based at Manila, until July 1, 1901 and at Fort Riley, Kansas until August 7, 1902. He was promoted to captain on July 15, 1902. He was then assigned to Camp Stotzenberg, in the Philippines, until June 14, 1903. He returned to the U.S. and served at Fort Logan, Colorado, and Fort Huachuca, Arizona, until August 28, 1904. Holbrook was a distinguished graduate of the Infantry Cavalry School at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas on July 2, 1905 and then attended the Staff College, Fort Leavenworth until July 25, 1906. Holbrook was the umpire for maneuvers at Fort D.A. Russell, Wyoming until September 16, 1906. He then joined the 5th Cavalry Regiment at Fort Wingate, New Mexico until October 24, 1907. Holbrook was assigned to the commissary department where he commanded the first training school for army bakers and cooks until March 9, 1911. It was here that he wrote the army's first cooking manual. Holbrook then served as assistant to the chief commissary, maneuver division, San Antonio, Texas, until July 21, 1911 and at Fort Riley until September 20, 1911. He was then ordered to Paris, France where he attended the A. Coldham Tendence until December 15, 1912. Holbrook was stationed at Schofield Barracks, Hawaii until April 4, 1916 and was then a quartermaster at Fort Riley, until July 1916. In 1916, he served with General John J. Pershing's Mexican Expeditionary Forces, as commander of the bakeries. This was the first use of the Army field oven, which he had invented. He was promoted to major on July 1, 1916. Holbrook then served at Fort Sam Houston, Texas, until March 7, 1917 where he was in command of the 7th Field Artillery Brigade, of the 1st Division, and he sailed with it for France on July 31, 1917. 
when the United States became involved in World War I, this was the first artillery unit to be sent to France, and it fired the first U.S. artillery shell against Germany. While with the American Expeditionary Force, Holbrook was at La Valdaine, from August 14 to October 18, 1917. At Somerville Sector, October 21 to November 20, 1917. Ansville Sector, January 19 to April 4, 1918. Cantigny Sector, April 20 to June 8, 1918. Mont de Dienoy on Defense, June 9 to 13, 1918. And Saizere Sector, August 4 to 16, 1918. Holbrook was promoted to the temporary rank of general on August 16, 1918. He then commanded the 54th Field Artillery Brigade, in training until October 3, 1918. Served with the 1st Field Artillery Brigade, in the Meuse-Argonne Offensive, until November 7, 1918. And again commanded the 54th Field Artillery Brigade, at Chateaurinal and elsewhere until May 22, 1919. Holbrook returned to the United States in May 1919 and commanded Camp Bragg, North Carolina, from May 16, 1919 until July 1, 1919, when he became the head of the Artillery Department of the Command and General Staff School at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. On July 15, 1919, he reverted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. On February 24, 1920, he was promoted to Colonel. From January 27, 1921 to May 4, 1922, Holbrook served as Assistant Chief of Staff for Supply, 9th Corps Area, and as Chief of Staff, 9th Corps Area until June 30, 1924. After this assignment, he became the Chief of Staff, Non-Divisional Group, Organized Reserves, 9th Corps Area, until June 30, 1925, and Inspector, 9th Corps Area, until October 19, 1925. He was promoted to Brigadier General on October 20, 1925. Holbrook then commanded troops at Fort Douglas, Utah, until August 19, 1926. Holbrook then commanded Camp Stotzenberg, in the Philippines until May 11, 1929. Afterwards, he commanded Fort Bragg, North Carolina, from August 20, 1929 until October 5, 1930, when he became commander of the 1st Division and Fort Hamilton, New York, until November 9, 1935. He was promoted to Major General on December 28, 1933. On January 22, 1936, became Commanding General of the Philippine Department until 1938. Holbrook retired on January 31, 1939. Military Decorations, Distinguished Service Medal. His citation reads, Silver Star for Gallantry. His citation reads, Silver Medal with Oak Leaf Cluster for Bravery, Montenegro. Mexican Service Medal, World War I Victory Medal, Army of Occupation of Germany Medal, Montenegrin Audrey du Prince Danilo I, Montenegrin Medaille de Bravoure d'Argent, French Croix de Guerre, French Legion of Honor, Fouragery of the French Croix du Guerre. Dates of promotion, January 23, 1900 a Euro First Lieutenant, July 15, 1902 a Euro Captain, July 1, 1916 a Euro Major, August 16, 1918 a Euro Brigadier General July 15, 1919 a Euro Lieutenant Colonel February 24, 1920 a Euro Colonel. October 20, 1925 a Euro Brigadier General December 28, 1933 a Euro Major General. Children, the Holbrooks became the parents of the following children, Franklin Rail Coffin, born on May 2, 1901. Advancing to the rank of Major General, he retired in December 1955. On May 7, 1927, he married Virginia Howell of Trenton, New Jersey born on January 8, 1902. They are the parents of Franklin Coffin Holbrook, who attained the rank of first lieutenant. He married to Nancy Boscom Palmer and they had two children, Palmer Lee, and Franklin Rail Coffin Holbrook, too. John Ames, born on October 26, 1903. He became a captain in the United States Navy and retired. 
On August 8, 1952, he married Barbara Barber of Berkeley, California. By a previous marriage, he was the father of John Ames, Jr., born on April 1, 1936. Lucius Roy, born July 30, 1906. He held the rank of Lieutenant Colonel in the United States Air Force. On July 16, 1934, he married Mary Gertrude Suttle in Shanghai, China. They had two children, Lucius Roy, third, born January 4, 1944, and Marilyn Suttle, born September 7, 1948. Death, Major General Lucius R. Holbrook died on October 19, 1952, at Letterman Army Hospital. His remains were taken by train to Boise, Idaho.